Hi, I'm Jim Brickle from Ed Learn Ford Lincoln in St. Catharines, Ontario. This is the 2023 Ford F-150 Lariat. This vehicle has a power release on the tailgate. Tailgate step. And yellow here is a handle. So it makes it easier to get into the box when needed. When putting the handle back down, push this yellow button. Step two, push here. Slide it in and lift the spring chair back up. Now this one is set up with the measurements across in uh, centimeters and inches. It has spots for uh, clamping items down. And in the box, we do have power point and LED lights. I know it's daytime, so obviously you can see what's in the box, but at nighttime, it's nice to have the LEDs. And with the rear power tailgate, if you bump it up, it will go the rest of the way on its own. So you can do it touching uh, the tailgate, you can do it from the fob. And as we come around on the driver's side of the vehicle, fuel door, it is our easy fuel system, no uh, gas cap required. Save yourself a few seconds on every fill up. This vehicle does have the intelligent access. So when I touch there, I can lock the doors. When I pull the handle here, I can unlock them. And with the back seat, one-handed, you can easily fold them up. Storage bin, rear air conditioning vents, and it does have heated rear seats. So plenty of room for all your carrying needs for people or cargo. You're looking at a power adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar support. Once you've got the chair where you want it to be, you can lock it in with the memory sets. So three different positions for me, myself, and I, or three separate drivers, whatever works best for you. Your power door locks, power outside mirrors, and I'm just going to start the truck. Okay, this button right here, oops, this one, will fold the mirrors in. And then push that button again, folds the mirrors back out. These buttons, closer to you, choose which mirror and then the arrows to adjust um, up, down, left, or right. Of course, your power windows. To the left of the steering column, you have some outside lights. You can open the tailgate from inside the truck, and you've got your automatic headlamps. So here is the automatic setting, the light with the A. Down lower, your parking brake release and power adjustable pedals. On the side of the steering wheel, this button right here, so it's on the left-hand side, you can tilt the wheel up and down, you can move it in, you can move it away from you to find the perfect position. Once you have put that in, that is another thing that gets saved in the memory sets. So make sure you adjust the mirrors, the steering wheel, and the seat before you lock in your seating positions. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise control. So this button here activates cruise control. And it's indicated right here on the dash. Now, once you're driving on the highway, you've got cruise control, you can set your speed. And with this button, you can do the adaptive cruise control where it uh, chooses the number of vehicle lengths to stay behind the vehicle in front of you. Below that, lane keeping system. 
You can turn it on or off. And that helps uh, you to stay within your lanes while on the highway. You can set it for an alert. You can set it for an aid. If you do alert and you don't signal a lane change, you will get a vibration in the steering wheel. So if you're crossing the line on the right, it'll be a vibration on the right, encouraging you to steer back into your lane. The ones below here, these are your volume for your stereo and your voice activation. And then with this one, you can shut the cruise control back off as right now we're not going anywhere. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, you can answer or hang up on a call. You can seek to your next preset on the stereo. And then we have our menu. So when you hit the menu, it goes to my view. If you hit over here, you have an OK, you have an up and a down. So if you hit OK, now you've got fuel economy. Go down, trip one, configure my view. Fuel economy, trip one, and configure my view. So press OK to add or remove screens. Press the up and down arrows to see the selected screens. So you can pick and choose what information will be displayed at that point. When we hit the back arrow, that brings us back to our choices. We can go down to, uh, you've got navigation and phone, audio and settings. On settings, if we hit OK, gauge, uh, configure the gauges. Do you want the speedometer in miles per hour? So if you've gone stateside, you might want to hit that one. There's an economy coach, there's border crossings, so reminder is on, or if you're not planning on crossing the border, you can take the reminders to the off position. So the vehicle is totally customizable to what you want displayed. So once again, that's my view, trip fuel, truck info, towing, and you display what's important to you. Now, as we come across to the center screen, we've got the temperature at high. It's getting kind of warm in here. So we go down lower, and as we turn the knob, it's changing the temperature. So that's our driver temperature. The passenger also has their own control. So as they're changing it, and they don't have to be the same. So you can have a difference of a couple degrees from one side of the vehicle to the other. So right now, we've got our map showing and we've got the audio is off. These arrows here expand your map to the entire screen. So you can once again display how the information is important to you. On the side, when we tap, that was our menu, the map orientation, voice, traffic on the map, routes to avoid or avoid on your route, show on map, trailer routing, weather, and more settings. So if you're planning a trip and you wanted to avoid any toll roads, you would hit that. You're afraid of tunnels for whatever reason, so we avoid that. And uh, you're wanted in the United States, so you want to make sure you don't accidentally cross the border. So then you would go ahead and pick um, your destination, and it's going to route you where you're not going through toll roads, you're not going through tunnels, you're not crossing the border. Next trip, you don't mind crossing the border, you don't mind taking toll roads, you don't mind going through tunnels. So you can totally customize your route. Go back, show on the map. You want to see where the gas stations are, food, parking, automatic teller machines, attractions. So you pick what ones you want shown. Maybe you're going to want to stop for some food along the way. So now I've got uh, Johnny Pastrami's, I've got a Petrocan, I've got the sub shop. So it's all a matter of what you want displayed. When you hit the that one, you can search for a destination, 
recent places, saved ones, gas stations, food, uh, the attractions, so you can find what you want. Uh, for example, if I hit the voice button, find Ed Learn Ford. Here's what I found. You can say set as destination. Set as destination. Starting route to Ed Learn Ford Lincoln. Obey traffic laws. Be alert and use voice commands while driving. Please proceed to the highlighted road. So it's very easy to use the navigation system. It's 123 now and by 125 I should be arriving at my destination as it's only uh, 650 meters away. Resume the trip. Down below we've got our audio. I'm just going to turn that off. But you've got your sources, the audio on and off. Phone, you can connect the phone. Navigation, just bringing up the maps again. Favorites, you can program in uh, some favorites on there. Uh, it does. It is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You've got your settings. The important ones here are vehicle. So you, when you get the vehicle, you're going to want to go through these settings. Most of them you'll just have to set once. So like rear occupant alert, you want the car, the truck asking you if they're to check for rear occupants. If you're the only person who's ever in the truck, it might feel silly to have that reminded each and every time. So you can shut that off. Easy entry exit. Uh, when you choose that one, the chair will slide to the back position. When you shut off the engine, it makes it easier to get out as uh, the steering wheel is not in your way. When you climb back in the truck and you restart it, then it goes back to your program position. So a lot of people like to turn that one to the on position. And then you just keep going right down the list. The power tailgate, it is uh, power active. Oops. Lighting, automatic high beams, fantastic visibility at nighttime. If it detects a, uh, another vehicle, It'll put it back to regular lighting. Welcome lighting. There's so many F-150s out on the road and black's the number one selling color so if you're at night and you're going wow everyone seems to have the same truck the one lighting up is yours so that's a way you can help find your vehicle. Ambient lighting so at night time, I can't demonstrate this right now, but it would light up in cup holders and foot wells and things like that. Locks. Uh, so right now with the remote unlock, it would unlock all the doors. You can do it where it's just a driver door, push the button a second time for the rest of them. Automatic unlock. When I shut off the engine and put the ve when I put the vehicle in park, shut off the engine. Uh, all the doors automatically unlock. If you're not sure what any of these things are, you can hit the I over here for more information. So a switch inhibit prevents the vehicle from being unlocked from inside the vehicle. And you can choose if you want to activate that or shut that off. Uh, mirrors. Auto fold. Great feature. Love it. Now this time, when I shut off the engine, get out of the truck, close the door and lock it, the mirrors will automatically fold in. With parking spots being as small as they are now, it will make it easier for other people to get past your vehicle and less likely to smash into your mirrors. Uh, the door key code, there's one preset from the factory and you can also add another one. Uh, that was under vehicle and under general. These are, once again, things you just have to set up once. So your language, I'm talking in English, so that's what we've got. But you can choose French or Spanish. Temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Measurements, kilometers and liters per hundred kilometers. So you just go through the general settings, choose what's right for you.
and you can scroll across. Um, software updates, you can uh, connect to your home Wi-Fi, have it set for automatic system updates. Valet mode, you can lock out your personal settings of the phone and navigation. Uh, so when you use valet parking, buddy in the red jacket just has access to park your vehicle and bring it back to you, but doesn't uh, have access to your home or your contacts or anything like that. Under features, driver assistance, zone lighting, towing, your owner's manual is actually built right in. So you can look things up that way. And we still have some conventional switches. So along here, uh, you can turn the screen to the off position. So if it's distracting for you, just have the time showing. Push it again, it goes completely off push it one more time and brings it back on seeking so to the next uh, presets on your stereo your air conditioning has max defrost your rear defrost where the air is flowing set it up for an automatic temperature do you want the air conditioning on do you want uh, dual zone temperature control heated steering wheel for the winter time and the next one is your heated seat so three bars means high heat, two is medium heat, one is low heat, zero is no heat. The blue chair, it's actually a cooling seat. So once again, high, medium, low, and off. Your fan speed. On the passenger side, we've got a button here for the secondary glove box up top. The regular one is down below. And your shifter can fold down. Console opens up. And in here we have our trailer brake controller. Your drive modes. As you twist that up top here. So we've got normal. For slippery conditions deep snow or sand, mud and ruts, backwards to the slippery, then to normal, going the other way we've got tow haul, economy mode, and a sport mode. So all a matter of uh, you seeing what conditions you're driving in and choose the mode that's appropriate. Well, I hope this helps in your enjoyment of your new truck. I'm Jim Brickle from Ed Learn Ford.